What's up, dude? Do this. This is Rocket Two K, and I'm bringing you today here a game from the PC. I had a lot of fun this game. I went uh, 15 and 5. It's not a brilliant score, but it's not a bad score either. At least I went positive. Yes, uh, that, that's the way I look at it. If I go positive, then uh, I've obviously done a good thing. Um, at the end of this game, somebody decided to call me a camping asshole and all sorts of stuff like that. And to be honest with you, I just I just replied with um, a response that I would expect and I would want many other people to use because it seemed to really bother him. And I called him a headless chicken because he just runs out and dies because he had like twenty he had twenty plus deaths to only like twelve kills. The guy who was calling me a camping faggot and whatever he wanted to call me. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I just called him a headless chicken. It seemed to really, really bother him. He, I, you know, he responded with, um, being a headless chicken is better than a camping faggot. And it's like, all you did was add deaths to your team. All you did was make your team lose this game. You're the reason your team lost. You know, I'm probably one of the reasons that my team actually got places in this game you know I killed I killed 15 people and I only died five times that means I only had the possibility of giving the enemy five tags but I had the possibility of giving my teammates 15 tags so there's the question did I did I help my team I think I did you know if, if I judge my I judge my assistance to my team on a lot of things and uh, capping and defending and uh, you know capturing and denying tags is uh, something I count on, but going positive is also a uh, a deal. It's it's a big deal in some cases, but other cases going positive is not. If you go one and one and like zero, it's not really not really a good thing. But it depends why you went one and zero. Like you could have been camping in a corner the entire game and only one person actually found you, and he just couldn't be asked to go back and get you. But there we go. So uh, yeah. I had a little argument with him, and uh, I've actually done this commentary twice now because I forgot to turn my microphone on. But, um, yeah, so, here's a response to anyone who calls out camping faggot or anything like that. Make sure you respond with headless chicken. That's all you need to respond with. You know, they, they got the camping faggot, well, we, we now got the headless chicken. Call us campers, we'll call you headless chickens because you are. You just you just run out as if you have your head chopped off. Twenty-seven deaths to like five, twelve kills, something like that. I'm not sure what it was. Five, no, twelve. I think it was twelve kills to twenty-seven deaths. You really didn't help your team. But that's enough about that. This commentary is more about ruining actors. So I don't mean actors that ruin things. I mean ruining an actor for the next time I go to watch that actor's movie. Let's, let's take for example, um, I can't take for example because I can never remember any actor's freaking names, but um, let's take the guy who played the Incredible Hulk in uh, the Avengers. Again, I can't remember his name because I can't remember any actor's name because I'm so damn stupid like that. You know, this these things happen. I can barely remember family names, so names just aren't in the things that I can remember. But let's take him for example. I watched him in the Avengers, and I thought that was so cool. But I've seen him in other movies now, and I just can't help but see. I, I just can't help it. I keep watching films with him in it, and I just keep thinking. He's going to turn into the Incredible Hulk in any second. He's going to turn into the Hulk, and it was like he does he done some lines, and I was like, unless you turn into the Hulk, but you're going to turn into the Hulk. Watch out, he's the Hulk. It's just like that's all I was thinking the entire way through, and it's like that just that just like shows up so many actors. One movie can completely ruin the look of all other movies. You know, like Harry Potter, for example. He played in um, uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, he played in Harry Potter, and he also played in uh, The Woman in Black. I watched The Woman in Black. It's really, really good movie. Brilliant movie. I try to stay level-minded. I try to keep the fact that he's he was Harry Potter out of my mind, but I couldn't help it. Like. 
all sorts of moments I say, why didn't you just go Wingardium Laviosa? <laughs> it's like, come on, really? I just couldn't get it out of my mind. And it just reminds me of like so many actors that this has happened to. Um, some of them, it's it's not a bad thing. It actually makes them like twice as cool. Like the fact that he can turn into the Incredible Hulk. But, you know... Other things like he's Harry Potter and he could just use spells. So it's, it's like, God damn, why am I thinking of this? Why? Why? <laughs> why? I'm trying to watch a good movie here. I just can't get it out of my head. And that, that just makes me think, I, am I going to watch the best movie in the world? Like Avatar, if I had seen another movie where that guy had played some stupid role, some really, really bad role, and then that would have ruined Avatar for me, because I loved Avatar. Like, almost every single actor in there, I, to be honest with you, I hadn't seen before, or I had seen before, but they didn't really have a big part in a movie I'd watched. But, uh, there, we, there we go, so that, that made, like, Avatar twice as good, because it was all nude, fresh. But, if I had seen that actor before, say, um, playing some stupid role in Harry Potter, or something like that, would that movie have been as good? Would I have enjoyed that movie as much? Or would it have just been one of those movies, like The Woman in Black, where all the way through I was giggling to myself? Where everyone else seemed to be pissing themselves? I'm just kinda... I'm just kinda on the side about that, I just don't know. W would it be as good? Would I have enjoyed it as much? Or would it have just been another one of those movies? So this is a part where I'm going to say, have you, have you ever had any movies ruined for you because you've seen the actor before and you just couldn't stop thinking about the other movie the actor was in because he just played such a bad role or such a stupid role that it just completely ruined the movie for you? Um, yeah, so put that in the comments, uh, please. I would like to know. So other than that, I am getting better at PC gameplay. Hopefully... By the end of the summer, or at least by the end of this year, so the beginning of next year, I will be building a PC. I will be making a new PC. Because I'm, I've am i been saving up for a while, and I'm going to be saving up some more. And hopefully, I'm going to have like a one to two thousand pound budget to, to build a PC by the end of this year. I've already got a graphics card in mind, so basically the PC will be built around the graphics card to prevent bottlenecking on the graphics card because to be completely honest with you gaming PCs are mostly they're not all but mostly about the graphics card so I've already got a graphics card in mind hopefully the guy keeps it he said he would but uh, I don't know it's it's on eBay right now but hopefully he keeps it because I've said if you keep it for two months I will gladly pay the full 400 pound for it or full 450 so uh yeah hopefully hopefully he keeps it uh he's only got other i think the only other offers that people have been giving him have been like 300 and 200 pound which is stupid like the graphics card even though it was last generation it was the highest end last generation graphics card you know it's it's not as it, you know it would only have lost half its price by now and you know it was a thousand pound graphics card when it first came out a thousand pound graphics card losing half its price it would be about a 500 pound graphics card so you know, there is definitely no way it should be £200 by now. It was a good graphics card, so hopefully I can get it. And, uh, yeah, so I'll be building a PC around that. I've already got a case in mind. It, it will need, like, a lot of airflow because it runs hot, the graphics card. It's a very, very hot graphics card, which is understandable for that type of graphics card. So uh, I've already got a case in mind. It's called the Cooler Master Half X. Whether I get the NVIDIA edition or not is uh, completely, you know, it's, it's irrelevant. I don't know whether I will or not, because I don't know which one is the best one out there. So right now you should be seeing, but I'm not, because my preview is stopped. Stropped, stropped, stropped. Yeah, there, my, my preview is stropped. My preview stopped, so I can't see, but you should be able to see the one that was uh, talking shit. Happy days, guys.